I've never seen our lives get so nasty as recently over Trump and Charlottesville in the last two years of Trump. Politics is destroying our families, our marriages, our grown children, our relationships with them. It's amazing. I fought for a week by email or by respect over Charlottesville. I thought it was incomprehensible that the president would call out Nazism and Klanism for what it was in white supremacy in its historical, uh, true historical context and compare that with the counter protesters and say there's not even a question of two sides, there's one big evil side. Well, I ran into these emails and conversations with conservative friends all week. No, it's about two, it takes two to tango. No, the left has brought the fight. They had a permit to march. It was all about two people in the riot, Antifa, Black Lives Matter. I said, no, but we're talking about the Nazis and the boxcars to Poland and concentration camps and gas chambers. No, no, it's just about the fight. It's about, I realized I couldn't convince my opponent. It got nasty, the emails got nastier. I realized this is ridiculous. This other person's a nice person. He has a wonderful family. He's done wonderful things for me. What am I doing? My own sisters and my, uh, my two aunts and sister, they, they're just, they write people off now over politics. I talked to a businessman, a friend of mine, Republican, he says his daughter and wife hate Trump so much and they hate him for liking Trump that his daughter said, you are a bleeping bleep. And I can only tell you that those profane words that were used were beyond being able to say here. Uh, you know, what are we doing? I think, why fight with people that see things differently, that read things differently? Why fight? You're not gonna convince them. They're not gonna convince you. If you take it personally, then you don't talk to them. I read a story in the paper about a, a bride who didn't invite her parents to her wedding. I mean, couples move out. We saw this during Act 10, but it's destroying us again. All I'm saying is, uh, if you want to have a conversation and somebody agrees with you, fine. Uh, if they want to talk to you, fine, which is rare, but otherwise, it's not worth it. It's not worth the fight. That's my two cents. My two minutes are brought to you by Edge Construction and Capital Consultants. Bill McCoshin, a lobbyist to work for Tommy who knows how to get things downtown. Talking about this and more on The Mitch Hank Show on MadisonTalks.com.